Hello students, I am Marco Severo. I am a professor of Universidade Federal de Goiás in Brazil. This is the social media marketing course, the asynchronous part of the social media marketing course in a partnership between UFG, the university where I work for in Brazil, and the Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar in India. This is the first lecture of the course. And I'm going to discuss marketing in hypermedia computer mediated environments. More specifically, I'm going to present one important conceptual scientific article developed by Hoffman and Novak entitled Marketing in Hypermedia Computer Mediated Environments Conceptual Foundations. The importance uh, of this article resides in the important contributions, the scientific contributions of this conceptual paper because it based uh, everything that we know of the interactivity between humans and computer-mediated environments. The implications of this paper to social media marketing and social media knowledge and marketing literature uh, is grounded on uh, how authors define the psychological process in individuals uh, resulted from the interaction uh, with computer mediated environments. I'm not going to enter in the details of the psychological processes and I'm going to concentrate more on the important conceptualization and, and and the extent of the conceptualization of these authors, okay? So the in the paper, the authors address the role of marketing in hypermedia, computer-mediated environments, and their approach considers hypermedia uh, CMEs to be large-scale, national or global networked environments of which the World Wide Web on the Internet is the first and current global implementation, and they introduce marketeers to this revolutionary new medium. It is important to you understand that we were in 1996 when this paper was uh, when this paper was published. So everything was very new, uh, specifically the internet. From where I'm talking, for example, Brazil, we did not have internet yet. Uh, it began to appear in the major cities in 1997. So that, this is why uh, this paper is very, uh, very cited in the literature and very referenced, okay? So what are the basics of this conceptual articles? In the past, traditional marketing used media that followed a passive one-to-many communication model. And traditional marketing uh, developed in this model, but the internet revolutionized the way firms and consumers make businesses, okay? Uh, it, because it operationalized a model of distributed, uh, distributed computing that facilitates interactive multimedia, many to many communication. And in its beginning, it supported a series of technologies that weren't available in the past. For example, discussion groups, multiplayer games, file transfer, electronic email, and global information access. Everything that is common for us today, uh, everything that we, we, we grew uh, or our kids are growing up with this technology, it was an innovation in that time. Okay, and um, how is organized a traditional one-to-many communications? Well, marketing developed and evolved in this traditional one-to-many communication model where we have a firm uh, delivering content to consumers through a medium. And these consumers, they do not interact uh, with one another they do not interact with the firm, they specifically interact uh, with medium. And traditional media, for example, newspapers and news conglomerates, news enterprises, they build power uh, in this system specifically because they concentrated uh, their ability to put firms in contact with consumers. 
according to Hoffman and Novak, and uh, according to their conceptualization, uh, in the many-to-many -many communications model, we have consumers uh, interacting one with another and also uh, producing content through mediums where firms are also producing content through these mediums. Today, it is very... Uh, uh, it's very transparent to see that whenever we see a Facebook page of a firm or a brand or an Instagram account of a firm or brand, and they are, in, they are producing content and posting this content in their own social media accounts. And they are interacting with consumers uh, through this content because consumers comment, share, and, and connect one with another. Uh, in this medium and this firm spaces, but in that in that time that was not uh, that was not common at all. So this is how uh, this is how important this scientific paper is. Okay, so this is the many to many communications model they proposed, and this is the many to many communi marketing communications model that we observed uh, in the present in social media. Okay. Uh, so they define hypermedia, hypermedia, computer-mediated environment as a dynamic distributed network, potentially global in scope, together with associated and software for assessing the network, which enables consumers and firms to, one, provide and interactively access hypermedia content because it provides machine interactivity and communicate through the medium. Uh, uh, and it provides person interactivity. This is this nonlinear search and retrieval process provides feedback, essentially unlimited freedom of choice and greater control for the consumer and may be contrasted with the restrictive navigation options available in traditional media such as television or print. So what we observe is a power transfer from the medium uh, or from firms that concentrate this power to consumers because now they have ability to produce content and establish partnerships and communications with each other, okay? Uh, in their media typology, uh, based on objective characteristics, they categorized a series of technologies based on two poles. The first pole the in the horizontal axis uh, is the impersonal and personal pole, and in the vertical axis we have the static, static and dynamic pole. What we observe in the development of social media and social media marketing is that social media starts right here because they are personal. We develop our profiles and we start engaging and connecting to others. But in the beginning, we had more static platforms, for example, Orkut, and this develops to more dynamic platforms. So whenever we think about Orkut, Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok, uh, we observe a social media evolution coming from static content to dynamic content. What this means? This means that nowadays, Consumers and people and individuals, they are able to uh, produce media, to produce videos, uh, to produce memes and distribute this in their networks. This was not allowed in the past. For example, using your code was, more, was a more static platform than is TikTok. Uh, than is Instagram uh, nowadays. Okay, so these is our these are the main implications and the biggest importance of this scientific paper uh, in social media marketing. Okay, thank you very much.